Hello friends, welcome to episode number nine. We have quite a few quests burning holes in our quest log now. So let's go ahead and get to it. I do see one quest over here, maybe the uh, the brother one. Oh, that shield. Okay, it's stealth. They're gonna probably see me. Let's go for number two. Yep, they see me, okay. <laughs> Hammer time! Need a fate meter yet, but. Oh. Let's do some dodging. Have some shielding. Nope. I guess you have to be like standing up for a second before you switch weapons or pull your shield. Oh. That's right, I rebound the controller shield. Okay. Two of them there. Oh. Okay, let's try to get some distance between me and then. There we go. Got some AoE damage there as well, looks like. Ah, too fast. Alright, let's try. Ice Staff. There we go. Yeah, I remember reading a long time ago that the combat in this game is pretty fun. I can say, I can, I can see that. We still don't have a lot of skills yet. I'm still learning how everything works. The key bindings, but with the different weapon styles and abilities. Definitely enjoying it, and it looks like, yep, that was one of the brothers. Very nice. Let's loot the camp, and then it is time to level up. And it looks like we've only completed one side quest so far, so that might be why we don't have a ton of XP yet. Crates, anything in there? Doesn't seem to be. Ooh, a hidden chest. Ah, oh, a hard chest. All right, I might need to either invest in lockpicking or um, buy some more lockpicks at least, but let's see. Ah, it breaks so fast. Ceremonial Greaves. That could be good. We'll, uh, we'll upgrade our gear in a second. Okay, that's most of the stuff here in the camp. So many crates. And so little things inside of them. All right, level up time. Okay, so skills. Uh, Alchemy is nice because it, you know, increases that chance to harvest things. Um, we already have two in there, okay. Yes. Oh. Alright, let's see. You can craft potions with three reagents. That could be a pretty good upgrade. Four reagents. And all alchemical recipes are discovered. But a big gap from here to here. So maybe I'll try to get this one at some point and then kind of pause there. Um... More gold could be nice. Blacksmithing could be fun. I guess I start with two dispelling, or did I grab that earlier and not remember it? Oh, I see. There's a plus and minus thing. Okay. Some of these might be based on my class or based on my race, perhaps. Um, but I think lockpicking would be pretty good. All right, we can always respect later, so let's go with some block picking for now. And it is time to spend our three points. Um, I am leaning towards getting some points in the might tree now. As much as I would like to get more sorcery, I think it might, no pun intended, be time to spread our points around here. All right, we do have a little bit of longsword master. I guess the hard part is most of these are weapons based, and I don't know what weapon I want yet. Harpoon. I wonder if that's... Hmm, let's see. Snag an enemy and pull it back to you. May have the opposite effect with larger enemies. Interesting. It does cost mana, though, which I don't really like. Okay, so this is an active spell. These are passives. Masterful use of shields. So Brutal Weaponry is for everything. Unlocks charge special attacks for the Longsword, Greatsword, and Hammer. So I'm leaning towards getting this one. 
Hammer's fun. I might go back to using Longsword again to see how the two compare. Because I feel like I kind of like the vibe of like a Longsword and Staff Warrior. But we'll see. Uh, and then a lot of these just need points and something to, to get the next tier. So, okay. Let's do... Let's just do three points in here. And let's do, I'm, I'm really leaning towards Might Sorcery at this point. Although I'll probably look through these in my own time just to confirm that. But for now, okay, we'll stick with, uh, we'll stick with Acolyte. And there we go. Let's check our inventory as well. Um, yeah, let's do, didn't really like the uh, the scepter too much. Plus five damage during daytime. That's cool. So let's equip that guy. I'm not sure why it's starred. Maybe that means new. It might be new. And let's hit back here. And I just want to kind of see which staff is better. Um... Both are about the same. Let's switch to this one just for something different. All right, and just a little more gearing, and then we'll get back to what we were doing. So Pathfinder's Hood is really good, but requires seven finesse. Okay, we're getting a little bit filled in our inventory as well. Set bonus to that guy. So right now we have rusty gauntlets. Let's upgrade those. And this is nice, but requires a little more might. So let's go for the frost weave. More mana regen is good. Plus it actually looks pretty cool. Legs, we'll keep those on. That's all we got. Um, ceremonial greaves we also cannot use yet. So plus five critical. Let's use the linen shoes. And then the shield is better, so we will upgrade to that one. All right, should be good to go. Let's stop by the shrine and get one more blessing. And then we'll see what's next on our list. Oh, the shrine is falling over. Glad it still works. Okay, let's see what we have going on in the map here. Don't want to go to a new area yet. Let's go find the Sprite's Well. Once again, I kind of wish that I could... Um, oh, I didn't rebind the running key. Um, I kind of wish you just click on the quest on the map and make it your main quest, but can't do that, it seems. So is it this one? Uh, it's to the left of me. Okay, I think I know where to go. Grab some black hosh so I can make more potions. And we'll cross the bridge. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm starting to hit my stride in this game finally and like looking forward to playing it. Ooh, would it? this must be the sprites. Okay, cool. Let's start. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Sounds like a curse, doesn't it? Oh, bugger. It's they resist magic. Oh, oh no, oh no. Great, now I'm fighting everybody. Okay. I need my face layer mode here. Oh, these guys are tough, too. Whoa. Okay, let's try this one. Oh, I think we've gotten out of their range, it looks like. Probably for the best. I wonder if they're, like, immune to magic or resist magic. Uh, no, that one didn't. Okay. But they are different types. Like Storm Champion, does that resist storm magic? Let's. Oh, okay, we don't have quite enough uh, mana yet. Either we missed or it does, so. Let's dodge that. These things are cool, though. I like the. Uh, yeah, it seems to be immune to that. Makes sense. I like the animations and all. Good old sword works, though. All right, 
interesting foes. And where is this well? I guess I guess we already hmm. we destroyed the spirits guarding it. Not sure where the well itself is, but guess it doesn't really matter because we did the quest. Let's go back to our werewolf friend now. Or wolfman friend. Oh, there's more of them. Alright, just a normal sprite, I think. Yeah, I do like the sword. You definitely see me being like a spell sword with a sword and magic and a staff. Or sort of medium range, or maybe some chakrams. But we'll see how it goes. Two legs. Do you come to me empty handed? What is the meaning of this? Oh, the well vanished. The well holds powerful magic, as old as these trees. Our elders told us its true name. Your two-legged kind might <laughs> call it the well that wanders. Lovely. Throughout the forest, it would vanish and reappear like a wolf on hunt. But what prey it <laughs> seeks. Hmm. Before I was cursed. I remember how strongly atop the water was the scent of leechwood. Perhaps the well seeks that. And where can I find leechwood? Leechwood? That is the two leg name for that wood that feasts on strength. It appears through the forest. Should not be hard to find. The scent of the well was strong with its odor. It must be what the well is seeking. I like the idea of a well that seeks out things, but... All right, well, our quest continues then. So... Report the attack. Not sure what quest that is. So, Leechwood over here. Let's check that out. Oh, it's this stuff, okay. Cover the well's waters. Oh, so maybe if I get enough leech wood, I can use that to draw the well to me. Is that the idea? Or, okay, there's the well. Oh, and it's gone again. And who is this? Not sure, but they have some cool stuff. Looks like uh, one of my kind. How come I can't bury that corpse? The other corpse from the farmer I could take and um, presumably give last rites to, but... Oh, and the well's back. As the leechwood bark lands on the surface of the pool, it sinks into the swirling blackness, and suddenly all seems at peace. You take a drought of the wandering well. All right. So I sort of give a an offering for an offering. Once again, back to our friend. I always like when there are friendly creatures in a game too, and not just like the ones you fight or that fight you. Kind of makes it seem a little moralistic, whatever those dear things are. Hopefully they'll be more like that in future areas. And don't mind me just picking out some ingredients, so we can do some brewing in a bit. It is there, two legs. The scent of water. Faint, but it does not escape me. My pack shall hear of your compassion and honor. I now go to the wilds and rejoin my pack. And now you may continue on your path, but with the knowledge of how to fight <laughs> with the strength of a wolf. Now I shall drink deep of this potion and return to my kind. Yeah, and he was a wolf. Good, not just a crazy guy. All right, I wonder what that means. Is that like a permanent bonus I get? Um... I 
That's from the shrine. 20% damage. That's a nice... That's a uh, nice bonus there. I don't know. Could it be a, like a plus one attack or something gives me? Or plus one might? I don't know. Um, or it could just be a saying, but it's moves. Oh, okay. So... All right, so there's all these abilities from sorcery, these abilities that come from finesse. Oh, and little animations too, I like that. And this is the might abilities, shields. You can get shield bash if you want. And then each of these has a cool thing. So hold and release the scepter for a shot. And attack while blocking to launch projectiles, okay. What does this staff do? Hold and release the staff. That's pretty cool. It takes a while to charge, it looks like. And then a delayed attack that launches enemies in the air. Doesn't really say how to do it, but. All right, so some pretty cool things there. Yeah, if you really got it stealthy, you can backstab. I won't be doing that. All right, enough looking at the animations. Uh, let's do. What else do we have in our quest log? Um, that's the quest that we didn't want, I think. That's the shrine. That's returning to Nani. And then the other ones are way down here. Okay, so I guess we've kind of done most of the stuff in this area. Have we been to this merchant yet? Let's, let's, let's head over there for a second. It's not too far away and I want to see who that was. Maybe we've been there, but I'm just not remembering. Let's head this route then we can grab a route, <laughs> a route along the route. I'm back into sprinting mode. Some more of those guys, no agents found. Guess we'll grab the shrine power while we're here. It's a cool little bonus to I like that they they give you those. And I think the merchant was over here, right? Oh, is this the keep? Children You're keep. Here to join, see time Delfric. Here to join then. You don't look like a patron. Okay, yeah, that's what this is. Alright, we'll come back here in a little bit actually. Um, we probably could just walk in and join, or I don't know, maybe maybe they'd have us seek out the guy. I don't know if, if that was the same guy that we encountered in the village, but, oh, wolves. These guys better not be from what's-his-name's pack, or that's quite the betrayal. I don't have my 20% uh, damage bonus anymore. But I do have that. Well, in that case, let's follow the main road here. And I think we're going to head back to um, speak to Nan and tell her about what we found. And then we'll also, let me grab what this is. What these are, rather. Treasure sack. Ooh. Maybe we'll sell some stuff while we're there, too. That could be good. Chot and war beads. Purple item. Take a look at accessories. We have our first necklace. Five percent damage. I will definitely take that. Uh, let's see. Not sure if I need the ten percent equipment requirements. I want over wayfarers. At this point, we have the clear requirements are all in the single digits, so I'm not sure ten percent even is like a whole number at this point. Oh, I lost my shoes. How did I lose my shoes? Uh, oh, it actually did matter. Okay, it must round then. Interesting. Okay, well, I do kind of want that mana regen, so. All right, let's go back to wearing the Wayfarer's Signet. And we have two Squire's Rings, so. Doesn't really matter which one. 
Okay, now we got our shoes back on. Good for safety. Let's head back over. Not this way. But this way. And a chest. Ah, another hard chest. Okay, let's see if uh, my lock picking has helped us at all. I'm like twitchy now. I'd like to know how the lockpicking skill works. Ooh, what is this thing? Let's grab this first and then, oh, dispel statue of Amon in winter. Oh, this is one of the, okay, we did this before. Uh, we could auto attempt it. Let's try it. Okay, so remind me what to do. I have to click when it hits the thing. Oh, that's right, okay. There we go. Pardon me, really wanted to do the. Um... Oh, that looks cool. Let's take them and we'll look at them later. Uh, pardon me, really wanted to just do the automatic one because I didn't remember how the mini game worked, but definitely glad we figured it out in time. Looks like the compass is on at the top. That's just the quest marker and the end overlapping. I wonder, I assume these things regen too, because I think we've been this way before. Which makes sense, they're plants. That doesn't have anything. Treasure sack. Did that regen or did I just miss it last time? Or have I not been this way before? Let's check the map. Nope, this is definitely the right way. Alright. In fact, now we can actually follow the gold quest marker, because that's the one I have prioritized. I guess I probably should pay more attention to like what the main quest, or what my current quest is, and switching that up is necessary. But I don't know; seems like a bit of a hassle. I like these little lanterns lighting the way too. That's cool. At least now that we're close to the village. Might uh, make some more potions while we're here, and probably visit that church place as well. And is that another quest giver? Have I not talked to them? Pick up the graveside letter. Um, yeah, I think I already read that one. Another graveside letter. Don't think you those don't are the believe quests. Father Dinwell when he tells you that Mitharu was male. Mitharu is a god, not a mortal. She is all of us, not some of us. Is do this the father of these wise men exhaust is. you as they do me? I have listened to their prayers for too long. There are other voices to be heard. All right, well, for now let's hear Welcome his to voice. Godwig's perpetual mission. I would invite you in, but the order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. You need aid? We at St. Odwigs have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears. And many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Why are you worried? Odorath is a savage land. Every day we must face both the beasts of the wood and the evil of wicked hearts. I fear for Brother Egan's soul. He knows nothing of the world of Fay and Alpha. Trust and temptation. He is like a baby, eyes wide at the world around him. I will help. Mitharu be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fay ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. 
I wonder if this is like another faction or is this just uh, like a, a separate area? All right, I know where to look, but tell me a little bit about yourself. I have been with the mission since its founding. These boys are like my sons. I live my life as an example of Mitharu's wishes for our kind. What do you think of Sister Zelda? Frustrating, that one. Stubborn to the spirit. She claims to know the will of Mitharu better than those of us who have spent a lifetime studying scripture. If only she would be touched by the hand of reason. A little bit of uh, religious strife here. What is St. Odwig's mission? The first bricks were laid 50 years ago by Odwig himself, before his demise at the hands of trolls. We honor him by converting the Fae to the worship of Mitharu. Hmm. Alas, we have yet to convert a single one. But that does not keep us from trying. I was about to ask that. All right, what are your thoughts on the Fae? The Fae are stubborn fools. They treat their souls like toys, with no thought of right or wrong, chaos or order. And Brother Agon? He's a good boy, but our youngest. And Egan often suffers from doubt. That is to be expected. One can only grow out of conflict, especially conflict of the spirit. I tried my best to comfort him and tell him that wisdom would come in time, but he was impatient, rash. He wanted a faster way to enlightenment and power. Bless you, child. All right, interesting to hear what really happened about there, but we'll find that out in a little bit. I'm going to try not to go through like all the dialogue options for every single character because I feel like that could get very long. But, uh, but all this like voice recording, I almost feel guilty not listening to everything they have to say. Alright, Nan, I have some bad news. Everyone in Gorhart is talking about the attacks. They say that the Red Legion is receding back into the shadows from whence they came. Oh, good. It is all thanks to you. You found the formula and destroyed it. Now, you may think you understand the impact of this act, but you truly do not. You are a friend to this village and to me, Nani Hanri. Take this. It is not much, but it gives you an idea of my gratitude. Ooh, that's a pretty good amount of gold and some potions, some robes. I appreciate that. All right, while I'm here, let's do this. Goodbye. Goodbye for a second. Uh, let's go through and I'm just gonna spend a minute or two doing my inventory and then I'll end the episode. So if you don't want to see this, feel free to fast forward. But I do want to see what we have. Um, this is still the best staff. I don't know because we're in the wrong slot for staffs. Let's look at swords then. Yep, we'll stick with the sword. And yeah, don't need the crude staff. So basically, if you add this up, it's what? 9, 4, plus 6, 19 damage. This is 18 plus... Okay, so this is a little better, but uh, I'm going to stick with this one for now. And then let's just check armor again real quick. Um, yeah, I still like that... Oh, I lost my gloves too, I guess, when I had that, uh, when I unequipped the ring. So let's do this one. And need a little more might to use that, but it has a lot of bonuses. That's pretty cool. So definitely hold on to it for now. All right, let's sell the rest though. You're welcome in my shop anytime. I'm pleased and Thank you. Okay, so. Um, okay, I guess I'll still keep one of each for now. At some point, I might narrow it down a little bit. Uh, I don't know which of these is better. Probably that one. And we have better scepters. So let's just sell these. Um, how do you, okay, so 
but this requires finesse. Whew, that's a lot of money. I hate to sell this because it's obviously a very good item, but we're also low level, so I feel like we'll probably find better stuff anyway, and I don't feel like I'm going into finesse. So it's probably okay to sell. This is also finesse. We'll be getting lots of money from this, though. Ceremonial Helm, we'll, we'll keep. We'll try to get the, the set. And I don't know if I'm going to go with robes, but I feel like I should keep some robes. We can sell the crude robes, though. I don't think we're really using any of this, and if we are, oh well, we'll get new ones. Um, this is that experience ring, right? Yeah. I'll hold on to it for now. I'll probably sell it eventually. And what are we at? 46. I do wish I had a little less, um, uh, a little less stuff here. Right, let's sell these old letters. And uh, keep the bones for now, but I'll probably sell them soon. All All right, we made a little bit of. of Based in our inventory, and if I need to sell more, I always can. But that is going to be it for this episode. Ooh, no active quest. We'll have to choose one next time. But yeah, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day or night, and I will see you right back here in the next episode.